were at windshield high just going through potholes yesterday full of water. <laughs> kind of gung ho, I would say. Gung ho, Dave's driving sound. But he's incredible. I just can't, I can't believe he's got that car here. Because it is kind of the kind of car you see people shopping in, you know? And uh, here he is in the Road of Bones. All these truck drivers take it, you know, at a steady like three mile an hour, just gently. Dave comes through at like 45 with a big bow wave. I think we need to install a propeller on his car. Nasty interruptions, this beautiful song actually there, Dave. We could have done this, but it's just impossible for us. <laughs> this could go horribly wrong. This could end up with us all having to dive in the water to get them out. Well, would you? Yeah, if he's stuck in the car. Maybe the warrior won't go through. Oh my god! He's stuck. He's stuck. He shouldn't have done it, should he? They're pulling him out. Whoa! That's no good. That's no good. That's no good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's us. That's us. That's us. we could have imagined and, and in every respect the, the, the fact that the fact that you come across an obstacle and that you can't there's no other option than to get across it there's no other option we're not it's not like anybody in this team has looked at an obstacle and gone oh god we're not going to be able to do that everyone's looked at it and gone how are we going to do that because we can't go back there's no other way to get to Magadan than the way we're going but we don't have to solve problems like this in everyday life at home you know what I mean we have other problems that need solving but this is there's something very pure about this. It's getting our vehicles to Magadan, and that's it. Whatever it takes, you know. Good luck, mate. Good luck. Come on, son. 